Greetings and salutations, friends. Mike and Mark from Urban Automotive. Oakville, on, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Well, it might not be morning. Uh, it might not be morning. They it could, could be afternoon or evening you're watching this video. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. But it's another lesson here from Mike and Mark. M&M. &M. Urban, <laughs> Urban Automotive. What are we doing today, Mark? Uh, changing a rack and pinion steering on this uh, Chevy Traverse. I rack and pinion? A rack. Don't know anything about I rack. A rack. No, a rack and pinion <laughs> steering. Nice. Now, what is a rack and pinion steering? Uh, it is what basically is underneath your car and connects to your two front wheels and allows you to turn the wheels side to side. So this one we're replacing is a leaker. It's this, on the floor here. This is on a Chevy Traverse. 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 Chevy Traverse. Chevy Traverse. Made in Ingersoll, Ingersoll. Ontario. Good Canadian made vehicle. Yeah, Traverse. 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 <laughs> Wow. Okay. All right. Well, whatever. Right. Traver, you say Traverse, I say Travers. Big GM vehicle. Big whatever. GM it's vehicle. it's a honking family hauler, and and this one's got some love in her with over two hundred thousand k. So let's it take does. let's take a closer look at what we're doing. All right. So here we have on the floor. Here's the old rack that leaks. Yeah. It has a couple lines coming into it. One's a high pressure, and one's a low return line. Okay. The the power steering flows through that. It has a couple little other lines that allow the air and fluid to go through the rack. Nice. Here's the tie rods that connect to the wheels. Perfect. And I'm going to be putting in this. Here's our new remanufactured unit. Yes. And it's missing the tie rods, but that's no big deal. I can either swap those out or put some new ones in. Okay. Then you do an alignment, flush the cooling system, and uh, away the car goes. It's like a half hour job. Uh, yeah, if you're dealing in about uh, <laughs> seven of those, so more like a six hour job. Wow, because where's it located? Let's take a quick look and show everybody what's involved with doing this job. Cause... Well, here you gotta bring it in and out through this side right here. As you can see, there's a lot of space. You yeah. You be able to see my face on this side, but no, maybe you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Yeah. over here. Wow. I gotta lower the cradle. I got uh, the safety stand on it. Basically, I'm lowering some of the front frame. Yeah. And then putting it in and hooking up some lines to it. Here's a line I've tucked way up over there that's gonna go to it. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is a high pressure one. And in this boot here, you might not be able to see this boot here, is yeah. where it connects to your steering wheel. Nice, and that's the steering shaft that comes down through to the steering, from the steering wheel down. From the steering column, yes. Nice. And we're also gonna do something else, preventative maintenance, which is, Replacing the lines. We're replacing the both lines. Yes, the high pressure line here And this is the low coolant return that goes to the fire steering cooler. We're gonna replace this one With this guy because they get rusty and crusty and uh, When they get jiggled around you just never know if we get a pinhole or some kind of uh, Potential leak that we don't need that we don't need that especially does the customer especially with uh, this one that wraps pretty much around the entire Front end of the car to get to the rack that's right that's kind of crazy so great design good vehicle good job as always mark thanks for your uh help and support and getting our customers on the road so there you have folks if you or someone you know needs a uh, rack and pinion or feels some tight steering that uh is that what it would be Tight uh, yeah, tight steering, weird noises. This one came in like with a cat and heat, like wow. Yeah, orig originally wow, it was coming for a noise under wow. the engine and then they couldn't turn the wheel anymore. Nah. It got really tight. And you know, you you and I are probably old enough to know strong arm steering. Strong arm steering well, for sure. There was no power and, steering. Yeah, we drove cars without power steering. That's right, but we had huge tires and it was a heck of a lot easier. But uh yeah. It's, a lot more muscle too. It's more fun. <laughs> it's it's more fun uh, to have a car with power steering it that sure actually works. So, One finger steer. So hopefully that helps uh, explain what a rack is on a Traverse. That's right, correct. Chevrolet Traverse. Traverse. Yeah, tra Traverse. 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 Travolta. Travolta. <laughs> Folks. Urban have, Automotive Safety First. Have a great day. Please subscribe. Watch our videos. We appreciate it.